That's a fair trade. A few friends for a bisexual wife? That's a fair trade. I'm just saying, that is a very fair trade. Mm -hmm. Can't complain. I'm not complaining. I'm about to say, I done lost some friends. Oh, it didn't happen to me. Shit, most I probably get is some music money. It's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's like real talking shit. Uh, then I got her, she tattooed my name on her. You got her, show the tattoo, son. Oh, there. Yeah, he showed oh, show the noise? Uh, she's gonna tattoo Rob Tay right here. Oh, okay. yeah. He's not even gonna have to get to that midlife crisis where he wonders if he can still pull other girls. Because him and his wife are gonna be doing that forever. Like. <laughs> if I had anything that I could throw, I'd throw it. That's in the water bottle. It's too far away. I was gonna throw my phone at it, but I'm, I'm <laughs> not about... gonna throw your phone at the water bottle. Yes. Why? Yes, that's the kind of mood I'm in right now. But I think what it is, you know, how, like how you have like a Haiti relief fund where everybody gives two dollars, and then somebody in Haiti gets a house and like a bowl yeah. of rice. All right. Here's my theory. Right. All of everybody else, we do good deeds here and there, and it goes into a collection pot. And then God just distributes it to niggas like you. Hey, that's laying on free parking. See? And he just keeps just keeps giving it to y'all. Just, just random people. It's just, oh, okay. Oh, you want a bisexual wife? Oh, well. They gave, they sang for some orphans, so you take that blessing. You run with that. You know what I mean? You just make sure you don't misuse it. And, and I'm never going to lose it because she said after I um, got her to tattoo my name on her, she's never going to leave me, even if I cheat on her. Jesus. What counts as cheating on her besides you know I mean? Exactly. And that's <laughs> what the fuck, man? No, no, because my ex told my cousin that I fucked her, but I didn't. And then I just looked at her and was like, so well, why would I fuck zoom. someone without you? Why this would I do that? Some nice shit. Oh, son, this is sweet as shit, why? guys. Nothing this really counts so as cheating. Tight, uh, son. Other than fucking a girl and not letting her join. <laughs> that doesn't really count. <laughs> That's still, that's, that's all the same thing. You cheated. In the game of life, you cheated. You went, you were playing Monopoly in life, and you shuffled through oh, the cards. Oh, Monopoly. You shuffled through the cards, you took all the get out of jail free cards, you took all the good chance cards, and all you left was a go straight to jail for everybody else. That's cool. That's it. I'm the DMV savior, I guess. No, you're not the savior. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're far from it. How did you get that? Like everything that was said to you. Because I'm the DMV savior. I don't know how this <laughs> happens. Yeah, I think this is going to make me upset. For no, us we, we just had like good chemistry. She She's into anime and stuff like that. Um, She sings. She does opera and she does R&B. Um, we just fuck with each other. And that's great. Those things are all fantastic personal traits. But it's the sexual aspect that we're talking about right oh, now. She likes the fuck. She's an info. <laughs> Do it, Sean. <laughs> you hit Alex. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The cause is understandable. Like, I apologize. I don't get it. Don't be mad. Don't, 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 don't apologize. You're all right. You didn't do anything wrong. You are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look salty? <laughs> deep down, deep down, you don't understand it. And we're going to explain it when we do this show. Yeah, okay. But every other guy in the world would kill for that situation. I don't know. I'm never mind the chemistry, over. never mind all of that. Because you could find somebody with good chemistry. I mean, not every day, but you can find somebody with good chemistry. But that aspect of it doesn't come along every day, bro. I mean, it also comes from everyone both in this shit, like a lot of shitty relationships. Fucking reality TV shows, bro. This is so epic, bro. I guess that would play a factor too. I don't get it. Like, I have no more words. Like, I'm not jealous of your life. I don't want your life. Of course, I know one wants my life. I like my life. I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. I'd swap with you except for the girl thing. Yeah. yeah.
I think that's the only part that is really Yeah, really I would say like right that's now. that's the only part that's remotely yeah. shaky. All I do is like a chill, me and her be just chilling all the time, you know, smoking tree, fucking, praying bitches over, smoke tree, fuck. Um, and that sounds great. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, like that aspect of. Remember that hair while the chick was heat, uh, hair in the jar? <laughs> so wait, did you hit the J and get head, or was she hitting the J and giving you head? I was hitting the J while she was hitting the J and she was giving me head. Then it vice versa. Oh. Uh, somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Vice versa. So, so oh, in man, the end. I was eating her out while well, I was hitting the J and she was hitting the J. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can do is laugh at this situation. That's all you can do. Like, I, I still wouldn't trade my girl for nothing. But still, that that would be a sweet deal. That's a sweet deal. I'm glad that there's somebody on the planet who gets that deal. At least one. Sorry. I mean, I'm gonna be puzzled about this for the rest of the night. A funny ass interview. And then this is going to hit Facebook, and then people are going to be like, oh, wow, you fucked up, because you asking about this nigga's girl, and you got your own. And there's going to be a whole lot of drama around <laughs> that. You're going you to catch it. I still got to ask the questions, though. Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> what, marriage? Nah. Oh, that, just that. That actually makes sense <laughs> to me. It's just the three-way part. Like, how does that... Mm -mm. Did you just have a conversation with her? This is something that I've always been curious to try as an everyday thing for you. I used to fuck bitches all the time together. Before I was with her. You know how many threesomes I've been in? I used to get three threesomes a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I took a year and fucked a different bitch each day. Sometimes two or three bitches the same day. There's nothing I can say. Like, there's actually no words that can leave my mouth that can really sum up. How I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I've been offered one three-way in life. Really? Mm -hmm. I was dating somebody at the time. I turned it down. I was the gentleman about it. Okay. Fucked up? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I did. Is it the girl you with now? No. Fucked up? Exactly. How old were you? 15. You fucked you up. You fucked up. Mm -hmm. That would have been like prime time set you for life type shit. Pink, I would have I got it out of my system yep. and I wouldn't have even cared. I'd be like, yeah. It would have changed that. your life. Changed your life. We probably wouldn't be sitting here. You'd probably be somewhere hey, you still else. You'd be sitting here. Threesomes aren't everything. Take it from me. Oh, uh, yeah. Take it from me. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> No, no, see, that's that bullshit. But three times, threesomes can lead to fucking arguments, too. Oh, How? I think that that's How? just a double edged sword. How? Because the person who you either brought in mm. or your partner can get mad because you show more attention to the other person. And there can also be a jealousy factor between the two females. How often does that happen? It depends on the chicks. So if you let your girl pick the girl, and then you have to, like, I mean, as a guy, we gotta be conscious about shit with females all the time. Because they get jealous for nothing. Mm hmm? I mean, if you glance at somebody for too long, you're going to get into an argument. Not really. She looks at ass, too. I mean, not in your case, because, of course, oh, yeah, you're yeah, the yeah. exception to the rule, but for everybody else... Yeah, you get in trouble. Exactly. In trouble. You know what I mean? But in this case, I can understand that. I can understand that, because, God forbid, it's ever two dudes and a girl, and she's just all on that nigga shit. Mm -hmm. And you're just off to the side like, what? Why would I do that with that shit? <laughs> Fuck that. You better get in there. Fuck that. Get you some. I'm gonna kick that nigga out the room and just smash that shit myself. Bitch ass. There is no such thing, and there should be no such thing as two dicks, one chick. I agree. Should never be. You know, here's a proven fact. Ancient Rob Tate Proverbs. Here, here's how we could prove that theory, right? So you know how much fun I'm having just with quiet ass shit? If <laughs> you have six girls that share one one bedroom, right? Okay, I've seen that before. When they leave and you go in that room, it's going to smell nice. Yeah. When you got six dudes to share a room. Oh, man, I think <laughs> We aren't meant to be in the same place for too long because it just doesn't work. It's not meant to be too many dudes in one space. Plus, man, it's like real gay, man. You can't be smashing another chick at the same time as another dude. Your balls going to touch her. You know, even if that doesn't touch... The friction between your dick and his dick will touch because of how the anal part works and how your vagina works. Because they're so close in space. 
which is why chicks can't enjoy anal because it hits their clip and it hits their G spot. Okay, I'm gonna learn something else today. <laughs> what you gonna say? Sexologist. I study my craft. I you're, slang you're dick for a what? I used to slang dick for a living. I'm a sexologist. You're a sexologist. Well, a pussyologist. A pussyologist. Pussyologist. <laughs> I used to want to be a gynecologist named Dr. Tongue Ring, too. Dr. Tongue Ring. Dr. Tongue Ring. That's it. He's a permanent <laughs> member of the show. <laughs> That's it. It's right. official. He's going to be like the weatherman. He's going to come in with suits. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be Dr. Tongue Ring. <laughs> Welcome to Face University. You made it. You had a 10 minute interview to listen to this. You made it, man. This is about to be the promotion for Face University. I'm putting this out a week before we drop that shit on Worldstar. That is the funniest shit so, I've heard all week. I will give you this before we leave, son. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Want me to get back to this one? Yeah, yes please.